So the A-10C is an absolute menace in War Thunder, but not because of its ground pounding capabilities, but because of its air-to-air -air capabilities. When you spade this A-10, you have the option to bring 4 AM-9Ms at 11.3 air battles. So yes, that means you could face Phantoms without flares while you have AM-9Ms. I don't know what seems fair about that. Additionally, this A-10 comes with HMD to help you guide your IR missiles right into the rear of the enemy. You can legitimately fake out any enemy just by not looking at them and firing a smokeless motor missile at them. They'll never know notice, they'll just be sent right back to the hangar. Although there are two downsides to this AM-9M slinging A-10. First of all, you are slow, so the initial velocity of your missile is going to be slower, so it'll be harder at range to hit enemies. Additionally, you don't have a radar, so it'll be harder to track individual targets when you're in the furball. Moving on to ground loadouts, make sure you take at least one AM-9M because people don't know they're coming because they're smokeless. With the Lightning 2 pod, you do get insane amounts of range with your secondary ordnance, and because you are placed at 12.0 ground battles, you're going to need it because any pants here will shred you to bits if you're going to be using your GBUs. So if you are going to be using this in ground battles, it's a little weak because of its speed and it's just large hitbox for radars, so I suggest either just taking Mavericks and AGRs, and of course using your cannon over using GBUs and JDAMs that it gets access to. Pretty much just fire at range and then stay low the rest of the match, otherwise the SPAA are going to eat you up. Overall this thing's a menace in air-to-air -air capabilities, but when it comes to ground it's kind of mid.